We supposed to love our neighbors. We don't love our neighbors. We don't, we don't, we do not. That's yes, yes, I know. I know what's been happening in Minneapolis and I've been posting about that on my Instagram. What bothers me is when people jump in to correct other people about protesting. Now, of course, nobody, no, nobody in the world agrees that stealing somebody else's property is right or wrong, whatever. That, that's, that's a universal truth, but we're living in a very difficult time and people have proven that protesting silently or protesting aggressively, are, neither one is getting a result. So people are at their wits end and um, I, can't, I can't blame people of color. I, I, can't, I can't blame people for people of color for trying to get somebody to pay attention and no one's paying attention. No one's paying attention. This is so important. And to, to tell people, well, this is how this is how you should be protesting. You should do this. You're taking away what we're really talking about by turning it into, oh no, it's about this or it's about that, or I have to correct everybody, or I, ha I have to be tell you about manners and, and, and what we're gonna do. It doesn't work. It's not working. It's not fucking working. Black people are dying. I mean, I, I venture to say you probably, none of us could name 10, five, four, three, one person, one white person that's been killed on film that has not had their killers brought to justice. I, 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 I venture to say, but I guarantee you, we can name names of black people that have been slaughtered, slaughtered. I didn't come here to talk about that because I've been talking about it all day and, I, and I've been posting about it because I, I and, and it's not about, I need to use my platform. I need to just speak my piece and just say the truth. And, and we know what the truth is, you know? Nobody's in a position, nobody's in a position to say, this is how black people should feel. I'm not black, I don't know. I had this conversation with Morgan and Mayhem recently, separately. And I said to Mayhem, this is all, I'm, I, actually this was probably two years ago we had this conversation. You know what's interesting is if we, if, if I got pulled over and Mayhem got pulled over, the likelihood of Mayhem having an adverse, uh, the, the police having an adverse reaction would be stronger because she's black. And I'm not because in, in the comparison of the two, they're like, oh, well, you're white enough. You're white enough. So I would get that pass, correct? But between me and Morgan, Morgan's white and I'm brown. So Morgan would get the pass. Now, of course, the three of us are flaming homosexuals, so none of us are gonna get the pass. But you see what I'm saying? It's like that hierarchy or something that I don't agree with, and I'm not saying it, that it's true, but I'm saying we know. There's just, uh, come on, come on. This leadership that we have doesn't make any sense. I just can't believe it. I, I, I'm stunned to believe that we're in 2020. Well, I can remember as a kid, I can remember as a kid thinking, ooh, bitch, I wonder if I'll live to 2020. You know, seven years old, eight years old, not doing the obvious math, of course she'll be alive. But you know, as a kid, that sounds so far away. It sounded so far away and I thought, ooh, well, we're gonna be flying around in cars and I'm gonna be teleporting to Mars. I'm gonna be teleporting to wherever I wanted to. You didn't even need, f we weren't gonna need food. We weren't gonna need any of this. And what are we talking about? We're talking about, we're talking about that, that there's video of, of, of not just this person's death, but before, during the arrest, where you can clearly see on a camera that wasn't held by somebody, a f camera from a restaurant that shows, that shows this person wasn't even resisting arrest. And even if they were, even if they were resisting arrest, we know damn well that, that the job of the police is not to kill someone. <laughs> you know, that's not the job. But this person wasn't even resisting arrest. For, writing, for, for allegedly writing a bad check and then in front of everyone, putting your knee in someone's, and, and, and recording it, like, like it's recorded. And they're saying, they're, they're saying now that there's not, that the district attorney says there's not enough proof that, that any of the four uh, police officers involved um, did anything wrong. They, they didn't kill this person. You're right, Nightmare. This leadership didn't make it America racist. They made it out uh, okay to be outwardly racist. You're absolutely right. This country's, uh, you know, we said before this country is is built on uh, fear and greed. And I mean, it is just built to be a fully and totally racist America. I mean, it's just... <sighs> now, listen, now, just 
if my 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 hope for your takeaway from any of thing if I've said anything that that bothers you or or uh, makes you think or makes you agree whatever it is whatever it is please take this away from from this little live conversation now is not the time to be telling people of color how they should be reacting to racist behavior now is the time to be an ally now is the time to see to understand to use your position to use your privilege but now is not the time to say to somebody well you shouldn't be responding this way if you're not black and i'm not black then i wouldn't know we wouldn't know and to say oh i i i've never i don't have any privilege we do we do we do have privilege by not being shot in the face by not uh by not being uh chased down in a neighborhood where you're jogging to not have the police break into your home like Briona, like come on christ on a cracker i i keep saying in my mind this is not who we are it is who we are it is who this country is unfortunately it is who this country is and it's who this country has always been it's what it's what this country has always been in our hearts we say we're not because we put up red white and blue flags and we bake apple pies and we love we're supposed to love our neighbors we don't love our neighbors we don't we don't we do not that's bull that's a smoke screen that makes everybody feel good it makes them s want to sleep well at night and say oh no i'm i'm good i'm just good people i'm just good people